There are more types of early bees in South Africa than anywhere else in the world, so it's thought they originated here. And if you think about it, without the power of flowers, you'd have no bees at all. But by creating insects to pollinate them, the flowers introduced a new problem for themselves. There was a risk that after an insect picked up pollen from a flower, it would then travel onto a different species of flower and fail to fertilize it. The pollen would be wasted. The solution of flowers was inspired. Down under these cliffs on the South African coast, you can see what they came up with. This lovely pink flower is Orpheum frutescens, which flourishes here in these salty conditions near the sea. But what's truly amazing about this plant is that it struck up this exclusive relationship with a particular bee. Orpheum flowers don't contain nectar. The payment they provide is pollen. But strangely, they keep it locked up. Special twisted stamens stop it being stolen by visiting insects. All, that is, except one. The female carpenter bee. Only she has the key. Let me show you what the bee has to do using these tuning forks here. When the bee lands on the flower, it changes the rate at which it beats its wings to just the right frequency. From this note to this one. Middle C. And it's these vibrations that are the key, unlocking the stamens, which open up at the top here and just shower the bee with pollen. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at the amount of yellow pollen on there. Fantastic. Now watch the B do the same, hitting the middle C note with the beat of its wings and unlocking the pollen. No other insect does this. It's incredible, isn't it? One single species of flower, one particular type of bee, have evolved together to give this intimate partnership. It ensured that a flower's pollen was successfully taken to a plant of the same species.